Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the top 5 unbelievable bargains that porn stars managed to grab. Let's dive right in. At number 5 we've got the Dutch East India Trading Company Bell. When a woman looking to earn cash for an upcoming move brought this 17th century ship's bell into the shop, she wasn't sure what to expect. She'd actually been considering putting it out in a yard sale. The late Richard, old man Harrison, thought the bell had to be a reproduction because it showed no signs of corrosion from seawater. However, the expert they brought in confirmed that it was indeed a shipwreck bell from 1602 and was worth at least $15,000. The Harrisons quickly struck a deal with the Bell's owner. There's probably not a lot of people out there willing to buy this thing, but here's the deal. The people that are, are willing to spend a lot of money. Trust me, a lot. And at number four, it's the 1715 Spanish Fleet Gold Coin. In 1715, a Spanish fleet carrying millions of pesos worth of gold and silver left Cuba on a trip to Spain but it was hit by a hurricane and sank to the bottom of the ocean off the coast of Florida. Lucky customer Jody inherited an exceptional gold coin from this very shipwreck and was looking to earn $2,000 for it. At first, Rick thought the coin was in too good of a condition to be genuine, but the expert confirmed that it was an 8 Escudos coin minted in Lima, Peru and was worth a cool $18,000. Given that Jody originally only wanted $2,000 for the coin, he was quite pleased to walk away with the $11,000 that Rick ended up offering. I wouldn't take anything less than $11,000. $11,000. $11,000. Get a deal. Thank you. In at number three, it's the Edward Curtis Photographiers. One of the biggest profits the Harrisons have ever turned came 20 years ago when a woman walked into Rick's shop with four sets of photographiers by famous American photographer Edward Curtis. Harrison didn't know much about this early photographic process, which used copper plates and gelatin paper with an etching process to create prints. But as the woman was only asking $50 for the entire collection, he took a chance on the purchase. After doing some research of his own, he found out that they were worth a massive amount and ended up selling them for $20,000. 12,000. 10? 11? 10,005? 11? 10,005? It's a deal. And coming in at number two, it's John Green's Olympic medals. When Olympian Jumping Joe Green came upon hard times in the late 90s, he needed money, and fast. He ended up turning to the Harrison shop, selling them his Olympic bronze medals from the 1992 and 1996 games. While the long jump star regrets his decision, Rick assured him that he would never sell the medals in case Green ever wanted to buy them back, despite their $30,000 value. I'm asking $20,000 for the Atlanta one, 10,000 for the Barcelona. And lastly, we have the Order of the White Eagle medallion. A very lucky yard sale fanatic picked up this medal for only 75 cents. Rick knew the heavily enameled medallion might be of interest and took a chance on it for $6,000. Expert Craig Gott later told Rick that the medal dated back to the era of the Tsarist occupation of Poland and was actually worth much more than he had paid. Both the original purchaser and Rick made excellent profits from this item, with Rick eventually selling the medal for $30,000. How much? Quit, quit, quit teasing me. Thirty to forty grand. Thirty to forty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> 